YouTube community page. We post all giveaways on this page. And of course, we also post all the winners of the giveaways as well. And this next topic, so Tesla has an inventory problem for the Model S and the Model X, but uh, one person thinks that the Model X should be priced at a low price of $79,990. So we're going to talk about that because interestingly enough, the Model X at one point was almost at that price. So let me know what your thoughts. What do you think about this? Should the Model X should be priced at $79.90? And we'll talk about it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Landon of the West. Basically, if you didn't know, Model S and Model X has a ton of inventory right now. If we go to the Model S chart, there is 456 brand new Model S's for sale. Hopping over to Model X, there's 508 Model X is for sale. And this is only what we see off of waiting for Tesla. There's more, more than likely a lot more Model Xs that are available and all of them have massive discounts. You can see a couple of them, of them right here, 7,500 plus. And so shout out to Landon. He basically thinks that the Model X should be priced at $79,990. Here's why. Because at under $79,990 or under $80,000, the Model X would then qualify for the $7,500 federal tax credit, which would make it a much more appealing vehicle. My one fear, though, is that it could get into the Model Y pricing, with Model Y being $55 to $60, maybe even almost seventy dollars with full self-driving. So it could try and get, pull away from some of that and it would essentially pull some demand, especially how focused Tesla is right now with Model Y production and delivery. Model X, they make those vehicles, but they don't really sell them in any sort of volume. So I'm not sure Tesla would really want to drop the price to under that because they could pull away from Model Y pricing, but it definitely is an interesting thought. And if it does drop down to under $80,000, that would be a pretty impeccable value in deal at the end of the day. But what's interesting with the Model X is that if you look at the price history charts, charts from our Tesla price history tracker that we've got right here, you can see that the Model X at its lowest price it's ever been pretty recently was $80,000 at $79,990. But way back when, way back in the day in 2016, when maybe the Model X 60D was out, when they had those different variants, the low price was $74,000 at the time. So I'm not saying Tesla would do that. I'm not saying they would drop the price back to under $80,000, but it could be in their wheelhouse, especially if they're looking to try and clearance some of these Model Xs from their inventory because they certainly seem to have a lot. But shout out to Warren on Twitter, Warren for NY government. Uh, he actually posted that he thinks that there's going to be a bigger, larger Model Y with a real third row with no Falcon wing doors in the near future. And that actually makes a little bit more sense to me because we've actually actually got a Model Y loaner right now from the Tesla service department and it actually has it's got it's, it's actually fully loaded for a long range it's got acceleration boost it's got full self-driving beta and it also has the baby third row and I can tell you that third row is almost dangerous at this point I'm not sure if I would ever want to put anybody back in there because it's almost like a little bit of a liability it is small it is not comfortable and it doesn't make sense at the end anyway a little bit of an emergency or even just for children at at the end but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on it if tesla dropped the price of the model x to eighty thousand dollars tomorrow would you cancel your model y order and take delivery or would you try try to trade in your model y for a model x let me know what your thoughts on it we're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Download the description of the Patreon link or support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there. So definitely check out Patreon link 